Hello, I'm Kasacheva Jackie here and welcome back to my The Great Grandfather's series here with Sheffield and yeah, we are just consistently inconsistent. <laughs> That's just what I'm going to say because man, this is really traffic light. Uh, we won that important match against the bottom team. We bridge uh, Yites scoring the goals there, the coach and the uh, uh, player. Uh, Julius, one of the best, he's actually scored seven goals now. Uh, those 17 matches is not too bad. Curtis Williams, two goals over eight matches, not too bad either. Uh, Randy Lewis, probably our best player there. Five goals, mm, his rating is not that great though, but he still looks pretty good. His mental is still decent. I should probably change uh, so it is the right... Uh, I don't know how to do it though. I have to check out some other save where someone... Maybe... Yeah, second yellow card he did some series with some team in the lower tiers. We lost here against Charlton 3-0. Chase Town, they are also bottom team. We just got a draw. Uh, Jim Wright, one of wingers as well, not too bad physical steer. 17 year olds, mostly the regions doing it. Bleepers was a pretty good match because they are a top team. Julius again scoring there. Fortunately, his finishing is not that great, but elsewhere not too bad. His great first touch. Um, yeah, we should have got a draw away. <laughs> Babe. Better XG, one against Sutton at 2 1, not the greatest. Julius again, scoring goals, so you can see he's far inconsistent. Leak were second or something like that, so well deserved victory for them there. Frackley, um, nil nil, did not take their chances as usual. Lincoln United, we won against them. Julius, two goals there. Gloss up, that was like. 20th, <laughs> I think, if we were 10th, and we lost this match as well. Curtis Williams, I must say, 12 and finishing, uh, 11 in first time. Okay, fiscals might not be that great, but still, some good uh, technicals there. And then Spalding, that's they might, or it might be them. I'd be just we just got to draw. Look at that XG and still we do not scoring any goals. Just wasteful. Just totally wastefulness. We are tenth, so we are upper half, but just just barely. <laughs> and we don't have minus goal difference. So that's that. We are doing what we should be doing, but elsewhere, man, not great. We have one player here that did came through in the youth system. That I think is really good. Uh, he's almost as good as Tom Davis. He's already one star. As you can see, he has good uh, defensive, good physicals. Even if we compare him with Josh Brown, that's just been woeful all year, not playing that great. Um, oh, they play on a totally different position, but as you can see, not too far away there. It's just 15 and Australia. And so Michael Nuofa. <laughs> Botswana and English, that's and uh, Australian, so that's an interesting combo. And who else? Uh, yeah, James Green is just way better. But it's just they don't they don't play that great. Or I get I guess James Green has done decently. So that's the issue. He's probably going to have a problem to go before him. But as you can see, he's not too far away. Uh, and defensively, it's just speed and. Vision is actually better heading wise as well. Michael Nephilia, <laughs> whatever, I don't know how to say that. Um, and then youth. Okay, that, this is not all. We have to go on the 21. Sean Hughes, a uh, new goalkeeper here. I don't know. I thought he was good, but he still had just one and a half star. It says that he had better stars there, but. Uh, and unfortunately it's unambitious, so that was probably not the greatest player to sign. Most of these we haven't 
We have your sign like six players. Unfortunately, I was w hoping that some of them might be better physical. He has actually decent physical. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. I just did just go on the players that had like five stars or whatever. I, I mean, we could just go to the youth team here. Instead, <clears throat> just go on the ratings. Ryan Jonas is decent. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, he has potential. It's, it's not that great right now, but it's five star potential. Some of these actually had good uh, personality as well. Uh, fairly professional manners. I like that. Seven, six, and seven, and five. It's not too bad, <laughs> since we are just that low down in the tiers. Uh, Sean Grayson, seven, seven, five. As you can see, they're kind of capable of playing as well in central midfielder. About the same. And natural fitness. Good determination. Slow, yes. But again, fairly professional. Like that. So we seem to get good players in there. That's good. Um, personality. Balance and normal personality on Vicente Ambrose. Okay, he's Nigerian. Did not know that, but that's cool to know. Um, good first touch, good dribbling, good flair, good, uh, good pace, natural fitness, pretty good. Some technique, not uh, not all that great, but yeah, I definitely had to fix the color of the attributes. Late drums, I'm going to definitely do that. Paul Hollywall, good technique, good teamwork, again, good pace, and... Uh, I guess leadership and flair is pretty good. Personality. Oh yeah, he's on the bishop, so don't hope too much on him. Uh, even if he has right now one star, one of you that has one star. Mark Neal. Very good uh, mental here. Work rate, teamwork, leadership, determination, aggressivity, good pay. Technical, not that great. I guess he's good at dribbling. Um, and he has balanced and normal personality, but as you can see, most of these are actually good personality, so a little bit surprised about it, not gonna lie. Thought we would get more with... Okay, he's unambitious. Good technique, good passer. Decent central midfielder, has four, uh, four star potential there. So I think I went for most that was four star potential. Uh, and the goalkeeper, since we need a goalkeeper. Is this a new fella as well? I'm not sure if he is. But yeah, it's not... It's not great, <laughs> unfortunately. The most of these are wingers as well, unfortunately. Um, or who are I hope I'm hoping for this too. Sean Grayson. And... Uh, Ryan Johnson. Because they have good personnel. Uh, they are not really there yet, as you can see. But they have good... Uh, and Ambrosio. But, <sighs> again. We have Wright. We have Yates there. We have Randy Lewis. <sighs> Just a lot of winger. Wingers is not what we need. But, oh well. They, w they would not cost that much. Let's so... <sighs> We just going to play this match today. I don't think we're going to do Stanford because they are fourth and we are probably going to. I'm going to just overhaul the tactic next season. Hopefully I don't get sacked. So we're going with this lineup. Hedge in goal. And Davis, the youngster here. It's unfortunately gone down. But still just one and a half star and potential for five stars. So we're going all out on potential. Owen and... Owen has been one of my best players, so I hope I can keep him forever. Um, he's even good for... Or it says that his potential is not good for... I mean, his technical is just... I don't know. May, maybe I need better physical players. I don't know. Because as you can see, most of them have terrible physicals. Uh, but this fella has also been pretty good there. So the central midfield really works. Uh, yeah, he's one of those that is really, really good... Um, good enough in this life. <laughs> that might be the problem. That we don't have too many that's good enough for this level. Um, and then we have the same 
from the field of course, prior shipman. Shipman being will disappoint at that. And they, my uh, assistant always says, Oh, you should play him in the center. Why should I do that? He's he's definitely midfielder. It's because he can play there, doesn't mean he should play there. And Nabil, as you can see, is developing very nicely. He's even good for a regional Premier League, which I believe that is the tier above. So he's way too good for this team. And we have Yites here. A 32 year old, the best winger, best old winger, I would say. Play here on, uh, yeah, I guess he can play both wings. Both of these can do it. Lewis, decent as well. Decent fiscals. Not too bad, a little bit inconsistent, maybe. And Julius. Just <laughs> a Physicals. No one has a good physical in this level. But still seven goals, so he's taken the spot from Wiggers the way unfortunately had to depart with which I would have loved to sign. But yeah, the problem is money. <laughs> you don't have any money on this level. You have pocket money, so it's not like you can sign. Uh every single place. This team are eighteenth. But, I mean, we can lose against everyone and win against everyone, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to that green. So we just have to, we have to get rid of players, this costs too much, and then we're just going to get in all these youngsters. Um, we will see as well how much uh, all these young players would develop. I hope, but uh, I think we're too far away from players right now. Uh and we have we have a goalie they can't save goals either so <laughs> and you see first shot on target and we uh, luckily it seemed like we haven't lost that many matches in a row won any matches or a row or drawn it's just been all different results just a cocktail of results basically yeah i'm a little bit worried just that the season end it wouldn't just be too bad and i will get sex i guess i will see if I have the hunt for our job, the problem is they are so low down, so I don't know what to do then. Julius, I mean, he's definitely been in good form. His eighth goal of the season in his 18th match, so... I don't know. Maybe the problem is they should play two strikers up top in the home games and, like, one striker in the away game. That would maybe make more sense. I, I think this is the, uh, even at Geisley, I've actually, so yeah, yeah uh, my team is inconsistent there as well. But at least I feel like, it's not like we, in this team, they can like sometimes like, have how many chances, how good XG is hell, and still they not score the goals. And that's just, that's even more frustrating. They have like a lot of talent, but still. We, they're not taking the chances. Um, well, this is an issue. We don't even have anyone center on the field. Would be lovely if we can win this match, but mm, I. It's like now it's like every single match. I'm like, can we even win this match? <laughs> it's it's not a good feeling to feel like that. Like uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> The only thing we can be sure about is Owen is almost in every single game going to be the best player. <laughs> That's the only thing to be sure about. Uh, I'm going to get... Wright has been injured. Very short term injury, but still. Focus, don't let go, let in any goals. But we already let in one goal, so I'm not expecting anything. I mean, I like the strikers. So maybe we should play with two strikers. I mean, Curtis, even if he's just a one star, he still have really good finishing and all. So I guess I think we were too far away. So I don't even know if we even. Um. Well, good. Yeah, we need we need some morale boosts. It's just all over the place. Some some players are happy. Some players are like miserable. To be fair, I don't think we're going in the playoff. I think it's just too many points up 
But if we finish 9, um, we can't see. They finish 13th. So very much. Yeah, they've been on this 8th level for a while. 42. We have 6 points up. I mean, we're 21 points down. So we're not going to get relegated. But yeah, we still want to be above here. We're scoring just too little. Let's <laughs> see 39 goals. We have not conceded many goals of 36. Even if our goalkeeper is really bad. And this is really weird. I'm just going to show you this before. I, uh, Eddie McLaughlin, he's like, I want to get loaned out. Even if I, even if I given him like four starts and even some matches, he's like, oh, I still want to get loaned out. I guess he wants just first starting. I mean, his mental is just incredible. So yeah, we will see. Um, it's like in the other, we are over the body, but I think we definitely can solve it. But <laughs> as you can see, what is that? That's match sharpness. I guess morale isn't that bad. I thought it was worse because I see all the red things here, but I guess it's match performer, match fitness, and some of this player I'm just disregarding playing like Alex Grayson and New Sam. They're still. A lot of teams interested in him, but they're like, no, we are going to stay here and just get the money that we deserve. But well, it is what it is, so we will be back. We will see if we find any sort of form. We will be back for Newcastle, maybe even Schalt on there. Oh, man, the, the, the freaking season is all up to June here, so yeah, that's going to be it. I'm just going to see here. So, okay, we have some tough matches, but uh, the only really top, top team is Newcastle, probably. Stamford. Not any of the top three teams we're meeting, so that's nice. <sighs> I can see either. Okay, here we have two victories and two draws. But I think we never the full season. No, we have not had three losses or two losses in a row as most. We not have three draws in a row so yeah our consistency and uh, to be fair in November he was, was pretty good. Did not actually lose any match in the month and this was also pretty good. We, here we did just lose one match so October and November was pretty good, but elsewhere, eh, I mean, we're winning, so we're taking the points. So it's not terrible, but yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again. So bye!